end of the first Ant-Man, I shrank down so small that I hit a quantum scale. It's the first time Hank has ever been exposed to somebody who could go down there and come back. And that begins to set in his mind the idea that maybe he can go get Hope's mother back. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, we're gonna explore the quantum realm. We start to play with the whole notion of scale. It's not just about being tiny, it's not just about being giant, it's about all of those scales in between. Scaling things up in this movie has been a real treat. This is the control room of Hank Pym's laboratory. When we're making a film that revolves around technology and science and engineering and quantum physics, we need some of the most cutting edge technology to help us tell our story. Ant-Man and the Wasp rely on high performing technology to be able to save the world, to be able to fight crime. Their superpowers are technology. That's what Dell is about. So we thought that this was a really good fit for both sides. Ant-Man and the Wasp teaming up. You will see Ant-Man size action and giant size action, and you may see a lot of different size action in between. <laughs> Having amazing visuals allows them to immerse themselves in the world. Maybe you just need someone watching your back, like a partner. Will they be able to work as a team together? Will she be able to find her lost mother? Set against the backdrop of quantum realms and shrinking and growing, that's the fun of making an Ant-Man movie. I don't want to die. We didn't die. I dare you to blink, because things don't stop moving. Eh, what'd I miss? We were just tiny. 